Deering Dipper. This is Deering Dipper, I hear. Mass hole dipper. And we're gonna be reviewing something out in public. Oh god. So, what are we reviewing today, boys? Grizzly Dark Mint. To go a dip. Now, Deering Dipper over here hasn't had it yet. So he's about to witness the good try. Hey, you try it first. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be the first one that is nice enough my mass old dippy here to let me get my first pinch. As far as I can tell, it's it's kinda like it's kinda like grizzly wide cut. That's what I've noticed right now. I'm just trying to take a pinch at it. It's a lot like the wide cut. Um It's pretty it's pretty good. It's wicked minty, but I honestly personally don't think it doesn't quite beat Copenhagen's mint. But nah, I'm gonna a, take a dip. Alright. It's extremely it's extremely minty just like Copenhagen mint. Yep. It's a little the thing I don't like about Grizzly though, it's a little dry. Grizzly runs a little dry. Believe it or not though, um actually I had a can of dark mint and it was actually moist as fuck. Like this this is pretty dry. Oh, it is dry shit. Uh, you got well, he, yeah, it is pretty he, fucking dry. He got a number one, remember. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Let me see real quick. Let's see what the hell. Oh, it's an H section, but that's right. Fuck it. The Garrett Pack love this shit. That's pretty good. Alright. Yeah, well, like I said, it tastes good. It's like a it's a it's a really good mint. It's a it's better than regular grizzly mint. Oh, but Jesus. But the the pro the problem I have is is how dry it is. It's just wicked wicked dry. All right, dude. Let's get ourselves a dip of this shit. Holy fuck! It's almost gone. Holy fuck! That's how three rednecks kill a can in about five minutes. All right, dude. Oh shit! Okay. We don't pack any little ones like pushies. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> Jeez. See, can't you tell? Because if you you've had wide cut before, uh -huh. so if you pinch that, that's kind of like pinching wide cut. It's not really. It's not a. It says it's long cut, but that's not a long cut. That's a wide cut. Yeah. See, what I've noticed about Grizzly, right? They change the cuts by can these days. Because what I noticed by um, by Grizzly is that like, if you notice, half the time you can't Grizzly, right? That um, the strands sometimes they're longer than the other, and then you got ones that are like that, ones that are like that, and then ones that are like that. Kind of like fucking women, you know. You got them perky asses, <laughs> fucking, you know, big ass fucking honkers, dude. You know, but yeah, overall it's a good dip, though. Oh no, it, I you know I definitely say it's a very good dip. It's something I I buy in you know in the store if you know I didn't have money to buy a tub of what I usually get, yep. but I I still think. Copenhagen overdoes it. Yeah, I still think Copenhagen beats as far as men goes. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it can be beat, but it's still like you said. It it tastes it almost tastes like you were. It was like regular mint. I don't. I haven't quite figured out the dark, the difference between the dark and regular. For like, say for example, you know, Grizz, I, Grizzly wintergreen and dark wintergreen. I didn't really see much. Well, I noticed the difference of the yeah. flavor as far as those two go. But because I haven't done Grizzly Mint in quite a while, I haven't really quite noticed a difference between the two. Yeah. But as far as I can see, yeah, it's it's a definitely a really good mint. It's just it's just because we got a lower. Because as some of you guys may know, if you take the barcode and start peeling that thing, they will have numbers between one and twelve, and that tells you, you know, the quality of the tobacco that they put into it. One being the worst, twelve being the best, and we happened to actually pick up a can that was number one. So, yep. it's not quite justified of how great it really is by us having potentially the worst fucking can you can get. <laughs> Good shit, though. Oh yeah. And hey, we're actually sitting in my truck, by the way, in Wendy's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> great, okay, great. Let me do it. Run, Rory, shout out BD Dipper. All right, I'm going to give some shout outs. Go for it. Uh, BD Dipper, go check him out. Deering Dipper, he has a YouTube channel. Check him out. Dipper. New Hampshire Dippers. Yep. I don't have a channel. Uh, Tell you what, we'll make you one. 
I right. would say, when you make me one, I actually, <laughs> I actually don't have a channel. I oh, you did? I, I, I tried to make a channel. I, I don't know too much about making channels. And I started wanting to do, like, dip reviews and all that. Like, and this, this is our first time all hanging out together, too. Yeah. Dude. Pretty good Friday night. Oh, yeah, dude. I was trying to figure out, like, fuck it. It's Friday night. Let's go have some fun. And then, uh, look, at, look at some beautiful freaking women. <laughs> drink some beers and have some dip. <laughs> we got to go to freaking, like, yeah. Dude, we got, you got the friggin' like Bass, like uh, I got to go to Bass Pro the first time. That was pretty fucking cool, huh? Yeah. And now he's over there drinking a beer. The old good nanny hey, daddies. We got no mud jugs either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got to bring mine. Yeah. So we might as well make our, our, our fucking crew here. And, you know, you got uh, poor boy racing. We might as well have a fucking crew here called poor... Dipping racing. New Englanders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. poor, poor New Englanders. Oh no. Poor New England dippers. Yeah. <laughs> who can't afford mud jugs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Better than shit bud though, I'll tell you what. Mm. Yep. Very good shit. Yep. Well, so what'd you guys think of Grizzly Dark Men? Was it good? All right. Yeah, it's 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 definitely all right. Um, I become wicked because I um, it's wicked fucking picking. dry though. It's yeah, it's just it's just it's, it's dry. Yeah, is what it comes down to. Is it? It's wicked dry. Mm -hmm. And I've been I've been dipping for six years, and I've done just about everything you could possibly freaking think of. And mm -hmm. so I I figured out what I think is good, what I think is kind of shitty, mm -hmm. but this in particular is actually a, a really good dip, and I would I would walk in if I didn't have enough money because I normally buy. Stokers here in the tubs. I usually get the winter green, but I got yep. straight down in mass this time because I haven't tried don't that buy yet. Don't buy your dip mass. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 don't buy it. I was going to say, if you want to save some money, you might as well run up to New Hampshire because you'll save you about, if you're buying a can, it'll save you about four or five bucks a can. If you're yep. buying, if you're buying a tub, it's going to save you seven to eight dollars a tub. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, she's been Ash Dippers, Darren Dipper, and Mass Old Dipper. We are signing out. I'm gonna go have some more fun. All right. Bye.